Good morning. It is day number 157. Yesterday I had 31,982 steps. And today I'm on track for another 24,000. Getting those in right now. So, obstacles from yesterday. Well, I had my first live yesterday. I was relatively uneventful. I think one or, one or two people showed up. And I believe that's just how it is in the beginning. But I did work out. OBS and being able to have my PlayStation 1 as a backdrop, which was kind of cool. So at least I had something to do while no one was in that live. So that worked out good. Shout out to my mom. I called her before I made my first public live. We did a test run. So she hung out with me on that live for almost 30 minutes. Moms are great, man. I'm telling you, because I don't know anyone else that would just show up for a live test and stuff out, but really helped me out to figure out how the platform worked, how to get those overlays right, the audio, all that good stuff. My public lives did have a copyright claim from the music and the video game, so that was a nice little learning lesson. And while it didn't affect the video, like it was one of those passive copyright claims where they allow the music to be used but I just clipped it out, and I'll be more mindful of it in the future. I love the process of learning about how this works and being able to, if you watch the live, you'll be able to see, I was able to change the size of me in the picture from more front and center to down in the left corner, and then you could see me playing the game. I think my wife joined from the plane. She was on a flight to the Midwest yesterday, she landed a little bit later on. So she watched me for a bit. Airplane Wi-Fi is not the greatest, but it was enough to watch a little bit of the live stream. So that was pretty cool. And now today, I'm just back on track for walking this 24,000 steps. I have been, as I mentioned yesterday, kind of struggling with this time zone change. I just recently got back from South Carolina two days ago, which is on the East Coast. So that's a three hour difference from the Pacific time zone. And when that happens, usually I'll come back home and I'll wake up between midnight and 1230 in the morning because I keep my schedule of 3 a.m. every single day. This morning I got up at one and was able to get back to sleep around 130 and then woke back up at about 230 and just kind of played with the YouTube app for a bit and then got out of bed and got out on my walk. You know, I'm having a hard time figuring out who to trust to because before I leave for these walks, I have my Google weather app on my phone. And right before I leave in my kitchen, there's a thermostat in the wall and the two of them tell me two completely different temperatures. I'll put the photos of each on the screen so you can see how drastically different it is. I think it's almost 10 degrees. That's quite a bit different to prepare for. I think Google was right this morning. It's high 40s. My thermostat was saying high 30s, which, I mean, if you've dealt with that weather, then you know that's night and day difference. I'd be seeing my breath right now, and that's just not happening, so it must be high 40s. I am, I am psyched about the direction I'm going in this channel, where it's going. I made the decision yesterday to just po post these long form videos, no more shorts. It's not really helping the channel. It's not really helping you because if you watch my short and you scroll and you'll probably be scrolling for another 30 to 45 minutes, I wonder where the time went. I just don't want to contribute to that cycle anymore. I'd much rather give you some long form that's going to be valuable. That's going to hopefully help change the course of your day or maybe even your entire life. So that's what I'm going to be out here doing. If you didn't see my video yesterday, pretty much the way that I'm going to be doing things moving forward is I will have this daily update video so you can see some consistency. You know, if you're thinking about starting something for yourself, you can see what the power of showing up every day is through me. I'm going to show up every day for you. Rain, sleet, snow. Maybe sometimes I might be inside on a walking track or a treadmill, but I will definitely get these 24,000 steps in 
And I want you to be able to see what that looks like. So I'm gonna show up for you and I'm gonna show up for myself. And then later on in the day, I'm gonna work out a topic to talk about, you know, for some self-improvement. It might be health, it might be financial, it might be nutritional. But one way or another, it'll be some good valuable content that you can take and make some improvements on your life. I'm also working out an audio strategy. So one of the things that I deal with, and if you go back a few videos, when I was in South Carolina, it was on one of the main roads, and there were a lot of very large trucks. And I realized when I went to edit my videos, even long after they passed me by, there was still a lot of noise being generated from those semis. So now you might see some skips in the video where I let a car or a truck pass for five or six seconds before I start speaking again, instead of trying to speak over it. I just had a car pass right now, so you just saw that skip. It's Monday morning, it's Veterans Day, and those are some people that I'm extremely grateful for. The courage it takes to go and defend a country is, is absolutely amazing. And I mean, you may not even, or they may not even be for the cause, per se, but that patriotic duty that they feel to go and stand up for us back here at home is amazing. Every opportunity I get to talk to a veteran or help a veteran out, I absolutely do. Because, man, I couldn't imagine life without them. I couldn't imagine my life not being able to do this. This is one of the freedoms that I get to enjoy because of veterans, and they fight for us no matter what we look, no matter where we're from, I think that's just incredible. I think it's amazing. I think it's very noble. And I am very grateful for veterans. So if you're a veteran out there, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your service. And happy Veterans Day. Got a little bit of work to do today after I'm done with my walk. And then I'll be preparing for my trip to Dallas tomorrow. I'll have one more walk here in Vegas. And then I get on a flight in the afternoon. So I'm looking forward to catching you in my next video. And if you didn't know, I have a 30 day steps challenge that's absolutely free. I'm gonna put it in the pinned comment of this video and it should be in the pinned comments of all my other videos. And pretty much it just takes you through a progression starting at a low number of steps and then you work your way up to a higher number of steps at the end of the 30 days. There's some tips and tricks in there on nutrition and walking. If you're looking to lose weight, I'd love to be able to help you get jump started on that. So that's going to be free, and it's going to be in the pinned comment. All I need is your name and email, and I'll send it to you. It's not, it's not quite automated yet, so when you fill that form out, I get an email, and then I send it to you. It's almost back in the day when you used to order something, and someone had an envelope, put a stamp on it, and send it. I kind of like the manual nature of it right now, while it's small, and eventually I will automate it. So if you made it this far in the video, I'd like you to leave the word veteran. If you appreciate those veterans out there, making sure that you're safe back here at home. I certainly am. And I'm also grateful for every single one of you that's watching this video and spending your time with me. I hope that you find the courage if you haven't yet to do something great for yourself and to just really change your life. Because once you get on the path, man, there's, there's really, truly no feeling it. I'm Brandon Alexander. And I will catch you tomorrow on day number 158. Bye for now.